Ultrasound Nobology Practical Tips and Instructions This is the keypad of a Sonocyte M-Turbo. Depending on the year of manufacture, the buttons may be located in different positions, but the functionality remains the same. The objectives of this talk are to demonstrate practical use of the Sonocyte M-Turbo. This will include correct selection of ultrasound probe, proper use of knobs for image optimization, describing scan modes, how to record images, and also archival of images. Probe selection. Each Sonocyte M-Turbo is equipped with two probes. These have different functions. The phased array probe is a low frequency probe. It provides low definition and high penetration. This is best for structures deeper than six centimeters. And we use this probe when planning procedures because of the large field of view. The linear probe is a high frequency probe. It provides high definition but low penetration and is best for imaging structures one to six centimeters deep. This is the probe we select for real-time procedure guidance. Each transducer has an indicator or orientation marker on one side. This is used to align with the dot on the screen to help the user determine direction. For instance, if the dot on the probe is placed toward the patient's head, then the side of the screen where the dot is would be toward the head and the opposite side towards the feet. By convention, the position the indicator is placed on the patient's body is towards the right or towards the head. Several sets of keys on the Sonocyte M Turbo keypad allow you to optimize your image by adjusting things such as depth and gain. Depth buttons are located here. It is important to center your op object of interest in the middle of your screen. If you need the screen field to be shallower, you can use the top depth button. If you need the field screen to be deeper, you can press the bottom depth button as many times as is necessary to achieve the depth that you need. Gain is brightness. The buttons to adjust gain are typically located to the left of the Sonocyte M Turbo keypad. Gain can be adjusted in the near screen or near field, the far screen or far field, or the full screen all at once. Here are examples of correct gain and incorrect gain. Correct gain, you can clearly see that structures are delineated from one another and see detail. The cortex of the kidney is slightly darker than the parenchyma of the liver. In an overgain picture, this appears quite snowy and detail is lost. Undergain pictures are too dark and here again, one cannot discern the details and the differentiation between structures. When you need to measure structures with calipers, you use the buttons in the middle of the field. Here's the sequence. First you freeze the image, then you select caliper. You use your trackpad to position the caliper on one side of the object you are measuring and hit select to lock in the caliper in that position. You repeat steps three and four to place the caliper on the opposite side of what you are measuring and hit select to lock it in. Then you choose to save the image and press 2D to return to scanning. Here's an example. We freeze the image and select caliper. We use our trackpad and select to lock in the caliper on one side. Use the trackpad again and hit select to lock in the caliper. We save the image and then we select 2D to return to scanning. There are several modes that M Turbo can provide. M mode is known as motion mode. This will not be discussed here. Doppler allows you to measure velocity of flow. Color allows you to measure presence of flow and direction of flow. And 2D is two dimensional ultrasound or basic gray white ultrasound. Whenever you're in any of the other modes and you want to clear the field to resume scanning in black and white, 2D is the button you select. 
Doppler is a measure of velocity. Here, you press the Doppler button, you use your trackpad to position the gate or the hatch marks in the area of interest, then you press the Doppler button again. This will provide you a waveform that's indicative of velocity. You can see that the velocity marks in centimeters per second are located to the right of the screen. Notice that the arterial waveforms are pulsatile and venous waveforms are not. Color Doppler is directional. In general, blue signal indicates flow away from the probe and red signal indicates flow toward the probe. Therefore, the probe must be leaned towards the head or towards the feet in order to get an accurate signal. If the probe is perpendicular to flow, you will either get a mixed signal, as the one shown here, or you'll get no signal. If your signal is low, you can use the gain buttons to increase your Doppler. Sometimes there is very low flow, and you need to be able to determine presence or absence of flow, but not directionality. In low flow situations, you can use the soft key and choose CPD or Color Power Doppler. Color Power Doppler is a mode that does not provide direction, but will pick up flow even in low flow states. For instance, low flow states such as collateral vascularization and peripheral vascular disease may be picked up on color power Doppler when they're not detected by color Doppler alone. Documentation is very important not only in patient care but in research. There are several sets of buttons that we will use to assist with documentation. It is important that we're able to enter the patient's name and identification number and create a unique record for each subject. We also need to label images with text so that we can go back in the future and determine what the images represent. We need to record still images and video images at times and then know how to transfer the images from the M-Turbo to a USB drive. Here's a demonstration. The Patient button, when pressed, will provide a screen that allows you to enter the name and identification number. The Text button, when pressed, will allow you to type from the keypad onto the screen onto the image. The Save button will save a still image or a screenshot. And the Clip button will record a clip, which will range between 2 seconds and 30 seconds, and generally 4 seconds is the recommended length. Next, we'll describe the transfer of saved images. We press Review and then List for a list of subjects. We use the trackpad to select one or all and press the soft key representing Export to USB. We then insert a flash drive, wait for it to show as an option, and then choose Export. If you have any questions about the general use of a Sonocyte M-Turbo, please contact me and I'll be happy to discuss them.